During their days in exile, the Pandavas were accompanied by their mother Kunti. Many days passed by as they moved from one place to another. I am tired from all this travelling and I am very thirsty too. Oh, we haven't eaten anything since morning. I am very, very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Mother, let us all rest under this tree for some time, please. Bhimsen? Yes? You go and look for some water. As you wish. Hmm. Hmm. And we have to arrange for food too. <laughs> I think I can smell of human zidimba. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I think, I think today we shall feast on human flesh. <laughs> go, go quickly. Go and look for them and, and bring them back here to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. As you wish, brother. I shall go immediately. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like everyone is sleeping. Oh Lord, how cruel can fate get? Everyone having to spend days without food or water. Mother Kunti, going into exile at this age? When will this daily running around come to an end? Everyone having to sleep on empty stomachs. Duryodhan, I will never forgive you for this. This human, he is so attractive and charming. His strong arms and his fair complexion. I would willingly live as his slave. Should I go and speak to him? And tell him Hidim's intentions? But, but I'll have to change my appearance. Or else he will ignore me. Hmm. What are you doing in this forest? Uh, I am Hidimba. Uh, you must leave from here at once. My brother Hidim is a demon. And his intention is to eat you all. What? Uh, yes. And you are a demoness? Yes. Oh, you demoness! Go away from here very moment. Else you will lose your life. I am not scared of anyone. Not even your brother. Uh, please do not misunderstand me. Hidim had sent me to look for you. But on seeing you, I fell in love with you. I shall live as your slave all my life. Please make place for me in your life. Kindly accept me. That is impossible. Oh, demoness, your powers will not work on me. My mother and brothers are tired and they need rest. Go away from here at once. Huh? Or else I shall be forced to kill you. If you want to kill me, please do. But I will not leave you and go. Never. 
nebo... Where has Hidima gone? Why is she taking so much time? Uh, is she eating her favorite human flesh by herself? Hidima! 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 I think Hidim is coming this way. We must leave from here. It is dangerous to stay here. Hidim will kill us all. I know his intention is to kill us. Bhima Sain? Yes? What is that noise? And who is this woman? Brother, this is Hidimba, a demoness. She stays with her brother Hidimba in this jungle. We must teach these two demons a lesson. Uh, 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 oh, brother. Uh, you two have joined these humans. No, no. Hidimba, have you forgotten that we are demons? Now along with them, I will have to teach you a lesson as well. No. Bhim Sen? Bhim Sen, I think now there is no way. Get ready for fight. Nakul, Sahadev and I are ready too. No, Arjun. Bhim can handle this by himself. Yes. Be careful, Bhim Sen. May you be victorious. <laughs> oh, demon, fight with your hands. Yes. <laughs> You demon! Today I will not spare you! Oh, oh brother! Why did this have to happen? Oh, demoness! You leave from here at once, else you will meet the same fate as your brother. No. How can I leave you and go? In my heart, I have accepted you as my husband. I shall be your slave for as long as I live. Please do not leave me. Besides you, I have nowhere else to go. Please make me your wife. That is impossible. The thought of marrying a demoness cannot even enter my mind. Mother! 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 I have accepted your son as my husband. Please try and make him understand. Please take me with you. Hidimba, do not despair. I shall ask Bhima to marry you. Mother! He will not be able to say no to me. We are in exile right now. 
as you say but mother i need a promise from you what promise that until i beget a son your son bhim must stay here with me okay redimba i assure you that until you beget a son bhim will stay here with you <laughs> mother <laughs> in this way bhim's marriage with hedimba was solemnized Hidimba spent many joyful days with Kunti and the Pandavas in the forest. Very soon, Hidimba and Bhim were blessed with a son. At birth, the child's head was shaped like a pot or ghat. Hence the child was named Ghatotkach. Very soon, Bhim bade farewell to Hidimba who stayed back in the forest to raise their son Ghatotkach was an exact image of his father Bhim Are you going out? Yes. Listen, you better behave yourself. Hmm. Take my advice and do not get into a fight with Adimba Sur. Yes, mother. Last time you had broken his arm. Mm -hmm. Why do you behave in this manner? Huh. He calls me a glutton. If he calls me that once more, I will break his other arm too. Do not get angry. Control your temper. And why do you go around carrying this stick? Keep it back inside. No. I want it. I'm going. At least hear me out first. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> come, come. Let's go for a swim in the lake. We shall dive into the water. Come on, come quickly. Tonight, we shall hunt a black buck, Ghatotkach. No. We'll hunt a tiger. And this time, I'll do it alone. It will be a feast for you all from me. You will hunt alone. Yes, I will grab him by the jaws and. Oh! Come on, leave me! Oh, leave me alone! I can't swim! I can't swim! Oh. Come on, come on, come here, come here! Hey, come here! <laughs> Come from? I didn't see him all these days. The tortoises don't go near him. He will grab your come leg. Come out! And... Come out! The tortoises come out! The tortoises! Huh? 
Why don't you listen to anyone? I was worried about you. Mother, what if something were to happen to you? From now on, I will not let you get out of the house. Mother, I really haven't done anything. Keep quiet. He was the one who jumped onto me and then... Don't say a word. Let's go home. Didn't you hear me? Let's go. Hey, tonight we shall go hunting, okay? What? Yes. Um, um, um. of time, Ghatotkach was growing up quickly. He was now the tallest and strongest among all his friends. 
none of them wanted to get into a fight with him. On a dark and scary night, he would often venture into the forest alone to hunt. He had inherited many powers from his mother Hidimba. He could now easily take on any appearance that he wished. Gatotgach, a big tree has fallen on an elephant. What? He is in a lot of trouble. Come. Then why did you not move the tree? The elephant is not allowing anyone to come close. He starts swinging his trunk and the tree is very heavy. I will not be able to shift it. You must come. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Hmm. Gatotgach, over here. This is the gigantic tree. And the elephant seems to be in a lot of pain. Hmm. I will have to use my magical powers. Hmm. Look! Look at Gatotgach! Look! Look! He has become invisible to shift the tree. Yes, the elephant won't even realize. Help me too! Gatotgach! Help me too! Gatotgach! Help me too! Gatotgach! Help me too! The God is coming! Mother, today I used my magical powers to save an elephant. No one could go close. So I made myself invisible and moved the tree which had fallen upon him. Gatotgach, you are following in your father's footsteps. And now I think you must be made the chief of the demons. You must lead them and perform great deeds like your father. Mother, you have been speaking of him for as long as I can remember. When will I see him face to face? When will I meet him, Mother? That I do not know. But I too have this sincere desire to meet him. My heart says we will definitely meet him. Anyway, destiny will decide when we will meet. Gatotkach, you are a young man now. And the kingdom of demons needs a ruler. That's why it is my desire that we should crown you the ruler of this kingdom. Yes, mother. Not only you, all my friends also feel the same thing. But you know Malkasur has decided to crown his own son Bhilkasur as the king of demons, mother. Which means a fight between you two is a certainty. Mm. Yes! Only my son will rule over all the demons. <laughs> Hail be to Bilkasur! Hail be to Bilkasur! Hail be to the goddess Kali! <laughs> Gatotkach became the king of all the demons. But a new problem came up before him. 
हम्म कटो कच एज पर आवर ट्रेडिशन यू शुड हैव बीन क्राउंड बाय द किंग ऑफ दिस फॉरेस्ट ही डिम्ब बट एज ही इज नो लॉन्गर अ लाइफ You should be crowned at least by your father, you know. What? Yes. This is the tradition in our Demon clan. But but there has to be a solution for this. Hidimba. Your son has been fathered by a human. If he has to take up the reins of our Demon kingdom, He will have to sacrifice a human before the goddess Kali. What? All right. I shall sacrifice a human before the goddess Kali and become the king of demons. king of demons i have to sacrifice a human before the goddess kali so one of you please step forward come right now no we should not we should not please oh demon king please spare our lives yes 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 please spare us please spare us please spare us that is impossible one of you must come with me right now No 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 not me no 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 not me no 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 not me no 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 me no no me all the men are weak here i am well built sacrificing me will really please your goddess kali hmm I will kill this demon in his own house. <sighs> Ghatotkaj took the well-built human to the forest to sacrifice him before the goddess Kali. Hell be to Ghatotkaj! Hell be to Ghatotkaj! <laughs> Is it really you, my lord? What? <laughs> Is this really? Yes, Gatotkaj. This is your father, Bhim. Gatotkaj, my son, come to me. You have become so big, father. Help me to the brave Bhim. Help me to the brave Bhim. Help me to Gatotkaj, son of Bhim. Help me to Gatot. by virtue of being his father bhim placed the crown on ghatotkach's head help me to the brave bhim help me to the brave bhim father are the kauravas really this bad yes the rogue duryodhan is ready to go into battle to grab the throne of hastinapur a battle is a certainty what what yes A battle is a certainty. That means, even this time, Gatot Kach and I will not have the pleasure of your company. I really have no choice, Hidimba. I must leave. What, Father? Let me to be a part of this battle with the Kauravas. Yes, he is as valiant as you are. The battle hasn't started as yet. When the need arises. I shall send for you. Bhim then bade farewell to Hidimba and Ghatotkach. And in no time at all, the Kauravas and the Pandavas faced each other in battle.
Pandavas, I shall teach you a lesson in this battle. Dushasan, you take this flag. Dear friend Duryodhana, do you see Arjun anywhere? His end is near. The end is near for all the Pandavas. Karna, you finish off Arjun. I shall deal with that glutton beam. Soldiers, the sun has set. Stop all fighting. Tomorrow, after the sunrise, we shall resume the battle. <laughs> Just when we were gaining ground. But it seems the rules of battle are more important to Pitama. Something must be done tonight. If needed, I'll break all the rules to destroy the Pandavas. Listen, if we are to win this war, then from now we must fight these Pandavas at night too. Duryodhan is right. Absolutely right. We must continue fighting at night to destroy the Pandavas. But this is against the rules of battle. This is not right. Do you wish to say that only the Pandavas are following the rules, Pitama? Our idea of fighting at night is wrong, Karna. Pitama, you are always favoring the Pandavas. You do not even fight with all your might. I will fight at night. I do not care for any rules. Yes, we must fight at night. 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 In this manner, Duryodhan broke all the rules of battle by fighting at night. Due to the surprise attack at night, the Pandavas army bore great losses. In the morning, Karna unleashed his fighting skills on the Pandavas army. A lot many soldiers fell prey to his sword. There was a lot of gloom in the Pandava camp. Krishna, Duryodhan is going down the path of night war. He has broken the rules by fighting at night. And during the day, Karna is wreaking havoc on our army. You are right. Arjun, Duryodhan's pot of sins is full up to the brim. He doesn't listen even to Bhishma Pitama. He doubts his integrity. Something has to be done for this. Hmm, Krishna, Karna has wreaked havoc on our army. I think it won't be long before we lose. Ah, Yudhishthir, don't lose heart this way. I think the time to introduce my son, Ghatotkach, into the battle has come. He is extremely strong and brave. He has many powers too. His army of demons will also assist us. Yes, Bhim. And only with his help, we will be able to stop Karna. Thus, Ghatotkach made an entrance into this great battle. He, along with his army, took Hidimba's leave and joined the Pandava army. I do not mind losing my life in this battle, but I must protect Uncle Arjun from Karna. Ah! 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 
This is Ghatotkach, son of Bhim. He and his army are creating panic into our ranks. Hmm. We must do something to shun. Hmm. We must do something quickly. Ghatotkach and his army were performing great deeds in battle. With his powers increasing at night, Ghatotkach was a source of worry for the Kauravas in the night fighting. Due to their mounting losses, the Kauravas were extremely worried. Looks like Bhim's son will snatch victory right out of our hands. Huh. We must stop him immediately, Duryodhan, else it will become difficult for us. Pandavas have gained the upper hand in the night fighting. The powers of these demons increase manifold at night. Duryodhan, do something quickly. Please do something quickly. Yes, something has to be done. He has magical powers. We'll have to use one of our divine weapons to finish him off. Karna, my friend, we have only one way out of this. Which way, Duryodhana? To use your Vaijayanti Astra. What? Vaijayanti Astra? The Vaijayanti Astra was given to me by Indra, the king of the gods, and you want me to use it against a demon? Yes, Karna, yes. Else our defeat is assured. Will you not do this much for your friend? Compared to a friend, all my weapons are trivial, Duryodhana. For your victory, I am prepared to lay down my life even. Hmm. The Kaurava army was being annihilated by Ghatotkach and his army. They were running helter skelter. Seeing this, Karna stepped forward. Ghatotkach and Karna were now face to face. Hmm. Oh, demon, why are you fighting with these ordinary soldiers? Come and fight with me if you are brave enough. Fight with you? Why not?
Ghatotkac fought against the Kauravas with great valor. As a result, Karna's famed Vaijanti Astra failed to harm him. In the end, the Pandavas emerged victorious. By then, Ghatotkac had laid down his life after playing a very important part in this great war.